Eu. Here we have a couple of our newest canary babies. And these are called Melado Tenerifes. They're from a rare breed from Spain, actually. One that's very, very hard to find here in the U.S. Beautiful birds. These guys are about two months old. They were born around the 5th of May. And as you can see, we're now already starting to try and sing both of these two. This little guy over here is a little bit younger, so he's not singing just yet. And he sits there and listens. So we've got two nice singers over here. These are going to be great singers, I think. They sing pretty much all the time now. So, that's the babies, the first babies. And in this cage, we have their extended family. We have four more babies. One, two, three, four. These are the babies sitting on the perches. This is Dad sitting up here in the corner on the food perch. There's Mom way back there. Already sitting on a new nest. And a lot of tenor reefs are what's called posture canaries. You can see that the babies are still sitting with their knees bent like a regular canary. Typical though for Mulatto Tenerife is more like what dad's doing right now, which is that they stand with their legs straight up. They're actually called posture canaries. They're judged on that if you show them. Typical posture for a Mulatto Tenerife is legs straight, shoulders hunched, and neck sticking straight out almost like a figure seven. You can see he's got beautiful frills on him. His feathers are all ruffled and frilled. Now these guys are still smooth because they're babies. They just got their feathers. But uh, their frills will come in as they get a couple of months old. Now mom has already had two broods. She's sitting on her third set of eggs right now. We don't let her do that. More than two broods is not good for them. So what we're doing now with her eggs is we're pulling them out and giving them to what's called a surrogate. And I'll show you her now. Bye guys. And over here in this cage is Rusty. She's acting as our surrogate. She's off the nest right now. But if we look in here, we might be able to see so there are three eggs right there. Those are the eggs from Mama Tenerife over there. Rusty's been sitting on them real well for us and you can see right now she's looking at me because she's wondering what I'm doing to her eggs. She thinks of her. She doesn't know she's babysitting. As far as she knows, those are her eggs. She's going to get down there and get her some food now because she decided she wanted the eggs right there in the food. So when the babies hatch, she should be the one that will feed them and take care of them and everything for us. Now up on top here is the last of our fancy canaries. Now, the female Tenerife was really good with her first two sets of babies. She fed them and everything, took care of them. Just not healthy for her to have a third set. These guys, on the other hand, don't do anything for their babies. <laughs> These are called Parisian Frills. Actually a breed developed in Paris in the 1900s. They're absolutely beautiful canaries. Beautiful birds. But they are just like a Hollywood mom. They're too fabulous. They don't want to be messed with with child care. Plop them out and leave them. So when they lay eggs we have to give them to Rusty too and she'll raise the babies. Right now, I think her nest is empty. Yep, right now, might be an egg or two in a day or so. But that's Zibeline on the left. 
and that's her husband, Fabrice, on the right. So, uh, there are beautiful babies, too. Hey, what's the matter, guys? You're on TV. Stop acting up. What's wrong with you? Alright, so, that's a look at some of our fancy canaries.